Soon after banishing the gods, the three men that were known as the Judge parted ways forever. Apart from their common goal, they were very different in every possible way. Three statues were built for them on the square of the Judges, displaying the distinct paths they had taken. These statues hold a secret as if it were their heart, but it is retained by the stone. Only the shard of heroes could make that heart beat, and only an unearthly force could tear it out. Exactly were the lords. They wielded power beyond our understanding. They fought fiercely and they blindly followed the god. Anyone who tried to talk to them, reason with them, failed. The lords did not come with destruction. They lead the Rogar army against the humans. We can't stand against such forces much longer. We must find a place to hide. A place with walls and soldiers, mighty Antanas. We will be on our way. Please prepare for a few dozen refugees.
You... help me! Please! What happened to your hand? Spider venom. It burns like Adir himself touched it. Rip the wound and suck the poison out. Too late. It already spread. There's only one way to stop the venom. Separate the poisoned limb from the body. You want me to cut my arm off? You're a madman. You'll see the judges soon then. I can't. I won't. It's in your hands. All right. On your head be it. Thank you. I owe my life to you, stranger. Wait. You're not one of the monastics. The markings on your face. A gift from the court. A reminder of my sins. Please, put the axe down now. You need someone to patch you up. You won't hold long in this state. I am the healer monk here. And yes, I see the irony of the situation. You must have supplies. I do. They're in the laboratory, but the place is full of Rogar beasts. It's no use. I won't make it there in this condition. Here, take this one. Thank you. If we both survive to see the Keystone Citadel, I hope our paths cross again. Anybody here?
ninth night on watch. How could the Rokar get inside the sacred walls of Keystone? They appeared out of nowhere. The graveyard is swarming with them. I need to alert the others. Mighty Antares, my research is over. I dare to claim that this gauntlet does only one thing, but it does it rather well. It eats hatred like a hungry lion and spits it out like a dragon spits fire. Its bearer can wield it like a horrible weapon, but his soul must not be pure. A shattered soul will make the most out of this device. Mighty Antanas, I've found traces of a Rogar Lord that was once known for his preoccupation with the physical form, and his shield being no less than a weaponry masterpiece. That's most peculiar. Where is it? Where is what? Back off! This doesn't concern you.
Whatever you want, you won't get an answer from a dead man. Seems it's your lucky day, altar boy. What was that about? They're liars, and worse besides, not only did they steal my family valuables, but they've hidden the pathway. The pathway? A door to places otherwise unreachable. Places that hold secrets, and secrets hold power. I was on my way there when the Rogar appeared out of nowhere. Why are you so sure it's still here? It's in the Book of Lineage, and the Book does not lie. You sure those friars stole from you? I've always taken them for bookworms, not lifters. Don't be a fool. The men in here are just as twisted and corrupt as the people outside. I bet Antanas, this savior, allows it. They've bled the villagers dry over the years. They think people forget that the truth gets buried with the bodies they helped create. But they're wrong. I know what they did. This is a monastery. No women allowed. No criminals allowed either, but here you are. If it's to be an inquisition, tell me about that constellation on your ugly face. Ah, uh, I thought not. Let's both keep our secrets. I must go. Suit yourself.